Not too long ago, a coach in the industry asked what the most common problem is that I run into working with students at the intermediate level. So USTA like 3540. And at the moment I said contact, poor contact being jammed up. But when I went home, I thought on it and it's a little bit more nuanced than that. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today. So a lot of times when players are having poor contact, causing inconsistency, they say they feel jammed. It's actually about what they're doing with their body and creating a barrier to poor contact. So what I'm talking about is when players get sideways, which is correct, like linear striking has been around for a long time, but it occurs on certain balls, not all balls, right? But a lot of times as a player thinks sideways, whether it's semi-open or completely closed, what ends up happening is they swing forward, but they don't allow their chest and their left shoulder to rotate. So they end up hitting here and the racket comes up around their arm and then they rotate. I see it all the time, at least hundreds and hundreds of students. So what I want you to focus on if you're suffering from that is, is really what the orientation of your chest is at contact. In the video what you'll see with Diego Schwartzman, take a look at where his chest is as the racket is lagging. So when you're working through this, you just simply practice on turning your chest forward to the court and allowing the butt cap to point forward. All right, so not only are you gonna pick up power in the back end with the lag, but now this enables you to get the racket out in front to this contact point. But as long as I stand sideways and I don't rotate my chest, I don't get sideways, or I'm, excuse me, I don't uncoil, then what ends up happening is I create this barrier, my contact is late, and then my body uncoils with the racket. It's common, but it's an easy fix, all right? So make sure that you get out there and you work on this and just simply open the chest to the ball as you work forward through the stroke. Really hope this tip helped. If it did, leave some comments in the comments section. Always good to hear from you guys. And if you got ideas for new videos, always welcome to hear those as well. I will see you next time. Take care, guys.